Hi uh, guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Dr. Downey and today we're going to be speaking about a 200 milligram a week testosterone cycle. So essentially this means you are using 200 milligrams in total a week of testosterone, whether it be injected weekly or more frequently. So in the past I've made comments on using low dose testosterone as a cycle purely because the research that is cited to support low dose cycles is usually found amongst hypogonadal men and in those situations where you normalize testosterone levels for a hypogonadal man you are bound to get increases in lean muscle mass and improvement in performance output. So now there is a new trial that was done in eugonadal men that was published on the 3rd of November. It was researched in military men who were eugonadal prior to the start of the study. And essentially, whilst the study isn't completely applicable to the general population, and I'll explain why now, I think it gives a general idea of what one who has eugonadal levels, so normal testosterone levels, could expect from a 200 milligram a week testosterone cycle. So essentially this is a randomized double blank placebo control trial, so it's fairly good in quality. The only issue is the small sample size, as with most studies on PEDs. So essentially the reason why this study isn't very applicable is that this study in particular wanted to look at supplementation with 200 milligrams of testosterone a week in military individuals undergoing a severe caloric restriction of minus 55%. So essentially if their daily needs were 2,500 calories you'd go 55% less of that. This puts the individual into a state of starvation. Now there are multiple studies that were performed in military personnel by the same researchers and they demonstrated that these extreme training protocols and diets that military personnel go on is not favorable for optimal performance. They found there's an increase in cat catabolic hormones as well as a decrease in anabolic hormones and more specifically they become hypogonadal. Another issue with this study is that it was fairly short in duration, so we didn't get to assess the full efficacy of 200 milligrams of testosterone a week. So just to go over it again, it's a 28 day study where they compared placebo, so essentially just injecting normal oil, to individuals who were receiving 200 milligrams of testosterone injected intramuscularly every week for four weeks. These men were Hugo Nadal in the start, with the average testosterone level being that of around 600 nanograms per deciliter or 24 nanomoles per liter. The age of these participants were between 18 years old and 39 years old, so this is quite applicable to a lot of individuals looking for a low dose testosterone cycle. Prior to the study, they were all made sure to come in in the same condition, so essentially they had been eating at maintenance prior to the study without excessive or strenuous exercise. Then for 28 days they were monitored and put on a strict diet as well as given strenuous activities to perform. So let's look at the results because these results are quite interesting. Whilst it would be a no-brainer to assume that the placebo group obviously lost lean muscle mass and were in a catabolic state, and that the testosterone group gained muscle mass, and you may criticize that as saying, well, that still doesn't say whether or not testosterone and anthate at 200 milligrams a week is beneficial for a cycle. But these results are more interesting than that. And that's because it puts testosterone to the ultimate test. Is testosterone at 200 milligrams a week still anabolic when put into a severe catabolic state and where your energy requirements are not met? So these individuals were still eating around 1.7 grams of protein per kilo a day, but they had a severe decrease in the calories they ate. So let's expand further into these results. I'll put the results up on the screen. So essentially, if we look here, we can see that the total body mass of both participants from phase one to phase two, phase two is when they were put into this severe calorie restriction, phase three is after this whole diet. And we can see that in phase two, the placebo group lost a significant amount of total body mass, and so did the 
testosterone individuals. However, they didn't lose as much. But what's interesting to note, however, is that whilst the placebo group lost lean mass, those in the testosterone group actually gained around two kilograms of muscle or lean muscle mass or lean tissue. You can't really say whether it's water retention or muscle, but that was statistically significant. Furthermore, what's more interesting is that they lost around the same amount of fat mass, even though those in the placebo group lost more total body mass. So this would suggest that even in the case where you are on a severe calorie restricted diet, 200 milligrams of testosterone a week can produce lean muscle mass gains. Essentially, this means that it would be useful in the context of someone dieting down for a show. 200 milligrams of testosterone a week would be enough to maintain their muscle mass as well as help them lose fat mass. If we look at the levels of testosterone in these groups, we can see here on this graph that 200 milligrams of testosterone a week place those individuals in the just above normal or high normal range for testosterone, whilst the individuals who were on a placebo started having decreases in their testosterone levels. Then we can see after testosterone has stopped that there is a dip in testosterone levels in the individuals who received the testosterone, however it starts to recover. What would be interesting though is to have a longer trial and see how high the total testosterone could get to with 200 milligrams a week. But we already have data from the study that shows that regardless of their endogenous or serum levels of testosterone, the dose had a positive anabolic and anti-catabolic effect on them because they gained muscle mass while losing fat mass, whereas the other group lost both muscle and fat. They also looked at other markers of catabolism as well as markers that indicate or are usually raised or deranged when someone is in a severe calorie restricted diet or highly stressful environment and they found that in the testosterone treated group whilst amino acid metabolites tend to increase in these states as you start breaking down your muscle mass for energy requirements the testosterone group had lower amino acids than that of the placebo group. Furthermore, they had higher fatty acid metabolites, meaning that testosterone essentially helped them in preserving muscle mass and selectively sparing muscle mass whilst increasing fat catabolism to produce the energy requirements. So this would also suggest that testosterone at a dose of 200 milligrams a week is very good at nutrient partitioning as well as preserving lean muscle mass and creating a favorable environment. So with that study out of the way, what does this mean? So essentially what we can conclude from the study in eugonadal individuals who took 200 milligrams of testosterone is that it was still anabolic at a dose of 200 milligrams a week and it had very favorable effects in individuals in a severe calorie restricted environment or a high energy output environment. Whilst the results are significant, they aren't as great as what we've seen in trials done on hypogonadal men who were given 200 milligrams, because in those trials they were firstly longer, meaning we could observe to see how long this effect lasted, and the individuals were hypogonadal at the start, so the results from those trials were in fact greater, so essentially those individuals who were hypogonadal and given 200 milligrams of testosterone a week gain somewhere from 5 to 10 kilograms of lean muscle mass. And whilst 2 kilograms seems small, we have to remember that this was not optimal for muscle building or anabolic purposes since the restriction in dietary requirements were severe. And furthermore, I think this study is quite relevant because it would suggest that physique competitors could use a low dose such as 200 milligrams of testosterone a week to maintain their muscle size whilst dieting down for a competition meaning that it is very effective in that regard. It might not have shown as much anabolism as many would have hoped, however, it still has beneficial effects. And I think it still is one of the safest beginner cycles someone could go with. So let me know what you think in the comments down below about this 
study and about 200 milligrams of testosterone a week and whether or not you've tried it, what your results were, and I will see you in the next video.